Japanese Bobtail Cat vs. American Bobtail Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Japanese Bobtail breed's telltale characteristic is a short bunny tail that can be flexible or rigid, with one or more curves, angles, or kinks. This is a medium-sized cat weighing 6 to 10 pounds. With his short tail, tufted ears and toes, and powerful body, the American Bobtail has a distinctively wild look. The American Bobtail typically weighs 8 to 13 pounds. Japanese Bobtail's telltale characteristic, of course, is a short bunny tail that can be flexible or rigid, with one or more curves, angles, or kinks, ideally extending out from the body no more than 3 inches. The fur fans out to create the look of a pom-pom on a short hair, or a blooming chrysanthemum on a long hair. Each cat in the breed has a unique tail. The Japanese bobtail is known as well for its tricolor calico pattern called Mike meaning three fur and pronounced McKay but other popular colors are black and white or red and white. He also comes in solid colors and tortoise shell and tabby patterns. Some cat registries permit pointed or sepia tone coats. Bold, dramatic markings and vividly contrasting colors are a trademark of this breed. The eyes can be any color, including blue or odd-eyed. The silky coat can be short-haired or long-haired. In both lengths, the cats have a little undercoat. Long-haired bobtails may have a ruff around the neck, long fur on the belly, and fur that is noticeably longer on the tail and upper hind legs than it is on the upper part of the body. Some have tufts of fur on the ears and toes. He has a slender but muscular body, long, slender legs that are noticeably longer in the rear, although they are angled in such a way that the body remains level rather than rising up toward the rear, and a finely chiseled head with high cheekbones, large oval eyes set at a slant, and large, upright, expressive ears. With his short tail, tufted ears and toes, and powerful body, the American bobtail has a distinctively wild look, similar to that of a bobcat, but he's a domestic cat through and through. He ranges in size from medium to large and matures slowly, taking up to three years to reach his full size. Since this breed is distinguished by his short tail, it's as good a place as any to begin a description of his looks. Each tail is unique. Most are one to four inches long, but they can be shorter or longer. The ideal bobtail is flexible and expressive, long enough to be visible above the back when the cat is alert, and may be straight with a fat pad at the end slightly curved or kinked, or bumpy along the length of the tail. Kittens are almost never completely tailless, as sometimes happens with the Manx. Some litters have kittens with full-length tails. They won't be stars in the show ring, but they can be used in breeding programs. The noticeably athletic body is covered with shaggy fur in two lengths. The short-haired American bobtail actually has a medium-length double coat with hard outer hairs overlaying a soft, downy undercoat. When the coat is a dilute color, a lynx point or a silver, the coat may have a softer texture. Long-haired bobtails have a ruff around the neck and long hair on the breeches, upper hind legs, belly and tail. On the face, the long hair may look as if he is sporting mutton chops. The fur comes in all colors and patterns. The eyes can be any color except odd. This active and affectionate Japanese bobtail cat will talk to you in a soft, chirpy voice. You will be amazed by the range of his feline vocabulary. He's not loud at all, but he does have a lot to say and a range of tones in which to say it. When he's not telling you about his day or asking about yours, he is very likely carrying around a favorite toy or splashing his paw into your koi pond or aquarium. He likes playing with water, so you may find your faucets turned on or puddles beside his water dish. The Japanese bobtail is playful and smart. He will relish the challenge of a rotating assortment of puzzle toys or the fun of chasing a lure on a fishing pole toy. He is very good at learning tricks and will even walk on a leash if he thinks it's a fun thing to do. When you are sitting down, though, expect this friendly feline to find a place in your lap. This is an adaptable cat who travels well, making him a good choice for boisterous families or people who enjoy an RV lifestyle. On the downside, he can be headstrong, and it's difficult to change his mind about which things are okay to do and which ones aren't. He is a busy cat and must have companionship people or another bobtail would be his first choice, but a dog will do in a pinch to keep him entertained when you are out earning the money for his food and toys. Remember that a bored bobtail is an amazingly creative bobtail, and not necessarily in a way that you will appreciate. Let's say you love the Golden Retriever's personality, but his size and energy level are a bit more than you can handle. American bobtail lovers say you should take a look at their cat instead. He's a lover with a heart of gold who is devoted to his people, follows them around, loves to play, walks nicely on a leash, and welcomes guests with a smile. This is a smart cat who enjoys puzzle toys, learning tricks, and playing fetch. He isn't as vocal as some breeds, but he communicates his pleasure with chirps, clicks and trills, as well as the standard purr and meow. The American bobtail has an adaptable nature, so he's a good traveler. 
Long distance truckers and RVers find him to be an excellent companion. The cats have also found a niche with some psychotherapists because of their loving and intuitive nature. That same adaptability and kindness make him a good family companion and suited to a variety of lifestyles, from relaxed to rowdy. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Because the Japanese bobtail has a little undercoat, both the short-haired and long-haired varieties are very easy to groom. Tangles are uncommon, and a weekly combing will remove dead hairs. Both long hairs and short hairs shed seasonally. The coat is highly water-resistant, so it's a good thing that a bath is rarely necessary. It takes some doing to get a Japanese bobtail wet enough to shampoo him. Always handle the tail gently, especially if it is more rigid than flexible. The American bobtail's coat doesn't usually mat or tangle as long as you comb or brush it a couple of times a week. You may notice that the cat sheds more in the spring and fall, so it can be a good idea to groom him more frequently during those times. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep their litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene. A clean litter box will also help to keep a long-haired bobtail's coat clean. It's a good idea to keep Japanese and American bobtail as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. They are a great match for families with kids because he shares their high energy levels. They are up for anything, from playing fetch to being a guest at a tea party to being dressed up in doll clothes and paraded around in a baby buggy. Always supervise children to make sure they pet and play with a cat nicely, and don't pull his ears or twist his tail. They are happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to their amiable and fearless disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.